This is Grave Confessions from the Grave Talks. Daily, raw, real, and disturbing accounts of the living, interacting with the dead. To share your grave confession, experience with the paranormal, supernatural, or the undead, call toll-free 888-GHOST-13. That's 888-446-7813. Now, today's grave confession. This is Amber from Salt Lake City, Utah again. I did call a little while back uh, about a little girl in my room. I have another story for you. So me and my boyfriend are laying in my bed, and my little girl likes to pick flowers for me like so many other little girls. And so I had this rose sitting in a little plastic cup next to um, my husband's side of the bed and we're going to sleep and I have my back to his back and I have my face towards the wall and his face is towards the other wall well I'm in that weird like half asleep kind of awake state where you know you hear things not sure you wake up out of that state well This is the weirdest thing. I don't know how to even explain it, but I'm laying there in this state. I'm almost asleep, and I hear a sound like only I can describe as like a dodgeball, like when it hits you, that tinging noise, that ting. Well, it felt like it hit my face, and and I hear it at the same time that I feel like something hits my face. But I don't have a dodgeball in my room, obviously, and I don't know where it would have come from. So I wake up and I, like, shake my boyfriend up. I was like, babe, did you hear that? And he goes, oh, I heard, like, a tinging noise. And I was like, yeah, something just hit me in the face. And he's like, well, whatever. You know, he never really believed before he met me. It seems to, things seem to follow me wherever I go. I don't know what it is, but... He's never experienced anything before he's met me in his 30 years of life. (laughs) And um, he's not used to it yet. I don't think you can never get used to it. I'm not used to it, and it's been 30 years. So, well, I'm I'm like, whatever, I'm going to go back to sleep. So I lay back down, and I'm turned towards him this time and kind of like laying in his, like, his back almost (laughs) excuse me so we both fall fall asleep we're in dead sleep now and all of a sudden I feel water on my face like I just got splashed in the face like someone had water on their hands and just like flicked it at you and not only do I jump awake but he jumps awake and he's like what was that what was that Something And I said, water just hit your face, didn't it? And he goes, yeah. What the hell? Did you just flick me in the face with water? And I said, no. It just happened to me, too. And so he's freaking out. Like I said, he's never experienced anything like this before. And the room feels really heavy, like someone's sitting on your chest. And he goes, please turn the light on. And I was like, you turn the light on. And he, he, he was paralyzed. He could not move. And so I hurry, jump up, turn the light on, and I'm like, where's the flower? Where's the flower Zoe gave me? And uh, I go to his side of the bed, and the flower is sitting maybe like three feet away from the bed on the floor by itself, and the cup is sitting on the ground. There's water underneath it, but it's sitting upright, and it's got about the same amount of water that it had in it. And mind you, this wasn't close to the bed. He couldn't have accidentally, like, touched it or flicked it or made it fall off. And the rose couldn't have flipped that far. Just a weird story for you. I don't know what you guys make of it. I mean, I I have things like this happen to me all the time. My husband's not used to it yet. But um, just want to see what you guys think. and. We did actually end up blessing our house. I had a friend tell me that there was some herbs that I could put around my bed because it seemed like that whole week things were 
messing with me in my bed to the point where I'd be sleeping and dreaming of something and it would be pulling my hair and I'd wake up and my, I have really long hair, like down to the bottom of my back and it'd be over the edge of the bed and something would be pulling on my hair as I woke up. So I told her about all these things and she told me to put these herbs and salts around my bed and my doorway. Well, I did so. Ever since then, nothing has happened. I also had my father bless the house. But there is one strange thing that happened after. We just barely got a puppy. She's about six months old, German Shepherd. She's not really, she's very well behaved. She doesn't bark a lot. She doesn't, you know, she's very well behaved. So we have her in her house. And the other night, in the middle of the night, I hear her barking right outside my door. And mind you, I put like salt and herbs at my doorway so that something cannot come in my room. She's barking at my doorway and she doesn't bark unless she sees something. And uh, my daughter ended up coming to dinner, so I didn't open the door to see what she was barking at. But my my boyfriend has been says right after that, um, what if something was standing outside our door, like the thing that tried to come in before, which kind of gave me the creeps, but it, it's possible nothing's happened in my room since. So I wonder if this thing hangs outside my door. I don't know what it is. I don't know why these things are attracted to me. But, I don't know, just give you something to think about. Maybe you guys have some insight for me. And thanks for what you guys are doing. Keep it up. I plan on becoming an EPP member shortly. Thanks. Bye. This has been a Grave Confession. From the Grave Talks. To share your Grave Confession experience with the paranormal or the undead, call toll-free 888-GHOST-13. That's 888 446 7813.